Hey guys, in this video we are going to be talking about is the industry saturated right now and should you try to become a developer? I mean, it's so saturated. <laughs> All right guys, my name is Joe Santos Garcia, aka Coding Face, aka I do this, aka your boy. Listen guys, I want you guys to subscribe to me and make sure you leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me know, do you feel like the industry is saturated or not, okay? So let's break it down. There's two type of peoples that believe that the industry is saturated. And I'm gonna give you the first one. It's the junior developer, the guy that don't even have a job, okay? I'm gonna tell you like this. Two people. The first one is the person that doesn't even have a job. And I'm gonna break it down why. Why this person feels like the industry is saturated is very simple. This person thinks that the industry is saturated because he sees the comment sections, he sees the YouTube videos, he sees uh, Twitter, right? He sees Instagram, he sees all these different platforms, and he sees thousands of people that are developers or trying to become developers, okay? so. That's like, you know, the first thing that he sees is like, damn, there's a lot of people in here, you know, right? But then he goes to a job interview or he applies to a job and for whatever reason, he doesn't get hired, right? He doesn't get hired or the company doesn't, you know, kiss his butt and be like, hey, man, come on, we need you, right? And they feel like there got to be so many developers out here that now, you know, it's just, it's too flooded. Right? It's too flooded. Guys like me, we can't survive. We can't win. We can't get no jobs because it's just too, too much options. Too much options for companies. Okay? There's too many people out here. And they start feeling like that. Okay? Now, what do they do? They go back to the comment section. They go back to Twitter. They go back to uh, whatever <laughs> platform they're in. Right? And they go back in there and they spill all of that negativity out there. And be like, if the world is too saturated. The industry is too saturated. There's no more jobs. There's this, 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 and that. Right? Years ago, it was the same thing with Indian developers. I will see people coming in here, oh, that's it, there's no more jobs. There's, you know, even when I started, there will be guys like, there's no more jobs, the industry is done. That's it. There's too many Indian developers working for, you know, $2.50 and a piece of gum. Like, way too many developers over here working for a piece of change, right? That's what they were saying back then. Now is that there's too many people that's in the industry. There's too many people that wants to get into the industry. So then now, this poor junior developers, instead of actually taking that time to analyze themselves and understand like, hey, why didn't you get hired? It's very simple. You didn't have the experience, you didn't have the projects, you didn't have a portfolio that demonstrate that you are better than everybody else. Now, somebody that's watching this might say, Damn, Joe, but how can I prove that I'm better than a guy that might be a year into this or two years into this or three years into this? There's so many different ways, guys, okay? I already did a video, I'll probably link it somewhere around here, where I talk about five different projects that you can build that will guarantee you to get the job. Most people are showing up to job interviews, they're not even showing up with real websites, guys. While you over here complaining about the, the industry saturated, a lot of people are showing up with like JavaScript calculators, you know, little snake games, little more, you know, memory games from JavaScript, you know, uh, little websites that the animation is like a, a flip of like the, the Y axis or the X axis, horrible animations, right? The designs that don't even look like anybody will pay for them. How can you get hired when your website looks like shit? I'm sorry, I had to say it. How can you get hired when you don't have the right quality? There's guys out here like myself and guys that's in the game. Guys that's coming from where I teach them in CodingFace.com that are busting their ass and working hard and building real projects and building real websites that look good that a, a, a business owner, a freaking a client will pay for that. Those are the people that's getting hired. It's not the fact that there's so many people trying to become developers, right? It's like right now, let's say out of, uh, I don't know, a thousand people that's watching this video, maybe 20 of them have a, a solid portfolio, right? Maybe 20 of them actually put in those extra hours, 
right? It doesn't matter how many people you see in the comment section. Doesn't matter how many YouTubers you see. Doesn't matter how many people you see on Twitter, right? That doesn't matter. So stop focusing on the fact that you see a lot of people trying to become developers, right? There's a lot of guys that go play basketball, right? You, you see guys in, in, in the NBA screaming, oh my God, <laughs> there's guys at the local ballpark. They're playing basketball. Those guys not gonna make it. The majority of people that's playing basketball on the local basketball court is not gonna make it. Why are you even worrying about that? You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm gonna give you the second type of person that believes that the industry is saturated. It's very simple. It's the old heads, right? It's the old heads, the guys that have been here since God knows when, right? They've seen this, uh, you know, this mass <laughs> migration of the regular people, right? The regular people like you and me that's getting into this industry, and they're like, man, you know, uh, those days is over where we could charge $100 an hour, you know? Oh my God, I remember when I used to do C++ at this company in 1992. Man, those were the great days. Of course, you gotta get paid that much when there's nobody in the industry, okay? Now, you, you can't make $100 an hour in, you know, in, in 2020. You get what I'm saying? Just to do the basics. There's guys that used to get paid, you know, a ridiculous amount of money you know, back in the days, because they would do things that now we consider as simple, right? Those guys were getting paid crazy amount of money. I remember there was a guy in a company that where I used to work at that his job was, quote unquote, front end guy, right? And all he knew how to do was work with jQuery. He didn't even understand JavaScript. He didn't understand anything. All he knew was jQuery. You know how much money this guy was getting paid, right? $80 an hour, because he was an old head. He's been here since the beginning of time, you know, early 2000s, right? And then now, you know, the industry went over their heads, right? Now everything's more complex, more complicated, okay? You can't get paid $100 an hour, $80 an hour for basics. That's it. It is what it is. Those days is over, because now anybody can do the basics, Right? I got guys that are doing codingphase.com right now with less than a week doing the basics of HTML, CSS. Right? There's guys that's doing the basics of JavaScript within a month. Okay? And those guys can do the same thing that that guy that was getting paid $80 an hour with jQuery, they could do it right now with a month in. Okay? You know, you was getting that money back then because nobody else knew about it. Right? Nobody else knew about it. It's like a guy that, you know, can go in and, and find gold. But if everybody can find gold, that's it. Those days is over, okay? So I understand why you feel like, man, the industry is saturated. But that doesn't mean that there's not opportunities. It's just now it's more competitive. Now you need to bring in more to the table. Now it's not, hey, I'm just going to coast through life, right? I remember this guy's too. You know, a few years ago, that I, I, when I used to work for a company, this guy literally did nothing. He did a uh, like a script, a Python script, where he changed the the prices for the website and all the stuff. So the guy would be on YouTube every single day. The guy would be watching movies at the job because he had everything automated. The guy has been in the industry for like 15, almost 20 years, right? And he had everything automated. That's it. Those days is over. Yeah, you could automate a couple of things, but you can't just coast through life anymore because now there's people that want to actually do the work. There's people that actually want to come into the industry, do their job, and at the same time, they enjoy it. You know, there's a lot of guys, old heads that's in the industry that don't even like to code. There's people that you might even see here on YouTube that talk about programming. and this is, They don't even like to code. Right? They don't code. <laughs> Let's be honest. A lot of these people that you see on YouTube that come here, they talk a lot. They don't even do no projects, no personal projects. They don't learn. Right? Like guys like me and you, that we actually work hard and we, you know, we constantly learning. We're constantly creating projects. We active in the community. There's guys out here that are not even active at all. They're not even active. They don't even know when was the last time they opened up a VS Code. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know, not even Notepad++. Notepad++. They don't even know when was the last time that they opened something like that. Okay? These guys have just been coasting. 
So now, when they open their eyes and they see around, everybody like, yo, everybody that's pretty good developers, there's guys that have been here for like two, three months, and they're actually pretty damn good, and I've been here for 10 years, 15 years, and all I know how to do is ASP.NET 3 or freaking uh, VB script, or you get what I'm saying? Like, those guys, it's saturated for them, because those days are over. Right? There's people that want to know how to code. There's people that want to get into the industry. And no longer are you getting $100 an hour for knowing the basics. That's it. Those days are completely over. Okay? If you're not part of the community, you're not actually coding, you're not actually learning new things, you're getting left behind. Because there's guys like myself that we love to grind. We love to learn. Because this is what we, we love to do. We love to code. Okay? So when you have these guys that be old heads and they, you see them on the chat rooms or there's people that's even young that still, they have this old head mentality of like, man, you know, there's too many people here, man. You know, I remember when I, I used to go to a job interview with just my resume. I didn't even need a portfolio. Yeah, there was guys that were showing up to job interviews with just a resume back in the days. Those days are over. Those days are over. Say bye-bye. You're not getting a job no more. If you show up with just a resume, you ain't getting the job. I don't care if you got 20 years in this game, you're not getting the job. Right? They're going to throw you with the same thing that they throw everybody out there. Throw him to the wolves right now. Throw him with, uh, you know, the kids that just came out of college, the guys that been here for 15 years, 20 years. Throw him to the wolves. Tell him to, to figure out how to use this, this uh, maze and get him with an algorithm to get him out of the, the little maze. Right? Throw him to the wolves. That was, that's what they're going to do to you. Back then, I understand, you used to show up with a resume and say, I'm a developer, hire me. And they will trust you to hire you. Those days is over. Now, does it mean that because new people are coming in that, that say you can't get a job? No, it's just now you got to step it up. It wasn't as easy as it was before. Now, because people keep throwing the word saturated around, people think like, oh, there's no more jobs. Guys, there's so many jobs out here. It's ridiculous the amount of jobs that there is out here, okay? You like it or not, there's going to be a whole bunch of jobs, okay? And there's more jobs than there is developers. Now, that's why people are hiring outside of the country and bringing people in with a, a crazy visa, a, a, what I call a slave visa, because they bring people from India, Philippines, uh, Japan, from all these places and give them a BS visa, Right? And they'll pay them almost half as much as everybody else that's making money here. And then they'll tell them, hey, if you leave out of here, out of this job, and you don't have a job within 30 days, your ass is getting deported. Right? So it's like a slave visa. It's like you have to do what they want you to do. Right? But like I said, one of the reasons that they're doing that is because there's not that many people that still know how to code here in the United States. So they have to look outside of the United States for talent. Okay. Now, once again, whenever you see a, a lot of people and you're like, man, there's so many people that are applying to jobs. I can't get a job. I can't do this and that. Guys, stop focusing on that. Focus on you. Focus on what you're doing. Focus on getting your projects, your resume, your portfolio, getting everything that looks good, making sure that you demonstrate that you're ready for prime time. Right? Once again, I'm going to bring it back to basketball. Just because there's a million guys playing basketball in the backyard doesn't mean that the guys in the NBA are worried about that. I'll see you guys later. All right, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know, do you feel like the industry is saturated? And why do you feel like it's saturated? Okay, at the same time, guys, I want you guys to make sure you go to my website, codingface.com. Through the link below, right, I'm going to give you a $5 special. So for the first month, all you have to pay is $5, and then from there it's $20. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I believe so much in my product and what I have here for you guys, and that you guys are really going to love it, that I want you guys to try it out. So I have to still pay for maintenance and pay for everything, so all I need is just $5 at least from you, so you can go ahead and try it out. All right? So go ahead, check it out, man. It's your boy Joe, back at it again, CodingFace.com. Over 40 courses are in there. Take advantage. We drop a new courses every single month. It's literally the best subscription out here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.